Okay, right, cool. Uh, this is gonna be pretty quick. Quick. I just wanna, I found that it is very useful in workshops to kind of say like, okay, like why are we here besides hanging out, talking about awesome molecular machines? And so to, to sort of lay out the, the goal for, uh, I'm gonna walk you through just what's gonna happen and kind of say, okay, like what is the goal of what we're going to be doing? So um, you can see the whole schedule is on the, the schedule is, is yep. the, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So we can sort of think about the, the two days having, the, so day one sets up day two. So in day one, what we, we want to do is Adam's gonna come up and sort of walk us through a number of potential architectures that all go towards the same goal of a reprogrammable system that can specify molecular bonds. Um, and the reason that we're, we're talking about this is that, that, like, I would argue that, like, that's the thing that, like, molecular machines more broadly has been going for. Like, we want these, like, functional nanoscale systems that can uh, basically reprogram the bonds between atoms. Um, and so there's, there's a number of potential architectures that have been proposed over the years, and we're going to talk about those, but then also leave the door open to other things, right? Like, this is not saying, this is, this is not a exclusive list. This is a, uh, a, a starting point. Um, and then we're going to have a number of amazing talks about the work that people are doing. And what we want to think about during these talks is how does that, how do these then fit into those architectures? How can these be components in a broader system? We're going to have amazing lunch. We're going to have more talks, um, more talks. And then what we're going to ask you to do at the end of the day, so be, be thinking about this throughout the day, is to uh, divide yourselves up into working groups for day two. And these working groups are, are focused on a specific architecture. And the goal of these working groups is going to be to try to break down uh, that, that, architect, that system architecture into what are the projects that need to be, like what are the, what are the projects that need to actually happen, right? Like the, ideally, this workshop leads to action, right? Like it's not just us talking about cool things, but like, okay, what are the actual projects that we can do to really push the, the field forward and start building functional systems? Um, so we'll divide up into working groups um, and then have a lovely dinner and then reconvene tomorrow where we, we actually dive into it. So day one is, uh, going over different potential components of the architectures really talking about okay like what what are the constraints here what are the like how do we know that this works and then day two is then sort of doing a deep dive uh in our groups into specific architectures um presenting about that and ideally figuring out okay like what actually needs to happen to to execute on these things so that is the the intention and sort of structure of of the workshop um and sort of uh, again allison mentioned this we have that working notes document and uh, like the in an ideal magical world as you're listening to the presentations you're also in that working document so please do feel free to have have your laptops out um and and really take notes on open questions, connections that you see between what people are presenting and uh, the, the different, different potential architectures. Um, and, and so that there's a lot of sort of like grist going into day two to uh, build out sort of actionable, actual things. Um, I think that those are the major points that I wanted to hit. Are there any questions about that, about the structure, about the goals before Adam comes up and starts digging into Specific things. Well, one, one thing is um, for each of these architectures that I talked about, we want to look at breakout systems for each architecture. Yeah, so uh, in a second, and you're already welcome to get mic'd up, Adam, if you want. Uh, we're really going to be discussing four of these architectures. Uh, Adam's always going to discuss them for five minutes. And then you have about seven minutes, two of them ideally to take notes on this document, 
uh, on the discussion prompts about the architecture that Adam is presenting. And then you have five minutes to discuss it with about two or three of your neighbors, um, just to make sure that like, people actually like engage with the architecture, that like any questions that may come up do get asked. And feel free to note all of this down here. And this is just to kind of first familiarize us with the architectures before we hear a few presentations, think again about how they could slot in. And then there'll be a longer brainstorming session after the presentations where you can propose alternative architectures. Tell us why these architectures really don't work. Uh, you know, propose alternative characteristics, anything that you want to build. And so these are really just starting points, I think, uh, before we hit um, you know, any of the bits that uh, you want to get to.